For more now on the investigation into the investigators, let's bring in tonight's Legal Eagles for more. Both former Deputy Assistant Attorneys General Harry Littman and John Yu. Welcome to you both. Hi, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Good. All right, I'll, I'll start with some quick reaction from both of you. Harry, you go first. About these referrals uh, from Devin Nunes to the DOJ, and Catherine's reporting that it could involve up to two dozen people uh, who may have to answer some tough questions. Right, if there's a predicate, which is very unlikely. I can't even see what the criminal aspect could be. You know, Nunes is indefatigable in, in pressing this point, and it's no coincidence that it's just before the Mueller report comes out. Only in this small universe do people really think that Robert Mueller is somehow corrupt and dishonest and that the whole probe's a, a witch hunt, and this is well, just his latest. Let me bring John in, because I, I don't know necessarily, and we don't know what he referred, but I don't know that it's necessarily aimed at Robert Mueller. It may be the origins way before that. We have no idea, but maybe he's looking at people like Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Yeah, I imagine... I think uh, I imagine that's mostly not about the Mueller report, but about what Mueller wasn't supposed to study, which was how did the whole thing get started? You know, Mueller was looking into whether there's collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. He wasn't looking necessarily at how did the whole th investigation get started. So you could see several different possibilities. One is he may be referring, I expect, that either Jim Comey or the top FBI staff were leaking classified information to the newspapers, or that other Obama intelligence officials were improperly using the surveillance laws. And then one last thing I think that we really don't know enough about is whether the House investigators themselves ran into obstruction of justice, whether they ran into perjury when they were conducting the investigation themselves, which involved the interviewing of high-ranking FBI and CIA officials, both under the Obama administration and in the beginnings of the Trump administration. Well, Congressman just, Mark Meadows has said uh, that he thinks part of this is going to be that there were people high within the DOJ, Some he says primarily within the FBI, that would leak information to the media, then these reports would come out there and they would point to those and say, ah, look at this, it would help build their case for what they were trying to do anyway. Um, Harry, if that turns out to be what this is, shouldn't every American, regardless of party, uh, care about that? The, the Americans, regardless of party, should care about leaks. Of course, it's a little like gambling in the casino. It, it's something that, you know, has happened everywhere but the M Mueller probe for, for years. But, but I agree. One thing I do take issue with that both the, the senator said and John said, it's, it's just uh, anomalous to call this the Obama administration spying on Trump. This happened within the FBI. The people have been named have been Republican officials. Obama was president at the time, but the attempt to make it a, sort of the, you know, one political party spying on another, I don't think comports with any of the known well, facts. Well, but what we know from the IG report, the one we have, and we're waiting on others, but was clearly that, I mean, he found that there was a bias. I mean, people like Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, I mean, talked all about how much they disliked this president and didn't want him to win and were terrified and backup plans and that kind of thing. Although they did yeah. say it didn't bias their decisions, they admitted that there were people who were initial part of that team who clearly were not fans of the president. Uh, but, John, before we let you go, I want to ask you about this um, new letter from Senators Grassley, Graham, and Johnson to the Attorney General. They've been trying to get information from the DOJ about the Hillary Clinton email investigation for years. They were told they couldn't have it because it may interfere with the Mueller investigation. This letter they send today says, now that the special counsel's investigation has concluded, we are unaware of any legitimate basis upon which the department can refuse to answer the Judiciary Committee's inquiries. Um, is it wasted time at this point to be going back to the Hillary Clinton email investigation? Or they've said, listen, we waited patiently. We want this stuff now. Worth their time? I actually think that they're putting the attorney general in a hard spot. And if I were them, I wouldn't be asking for this. Because on the one hand, they've been demanding that investigations continue. So if the investigations are actually going to continue, not the Mueller probe, mm -hmm. but just other investigations about right. what's going on with the Hillary investigation, then the Justice Department can't turn this stuff over. And also there's a policy that once they conclude an investigation, the idea generally is that you don't share that kind of information with Congress because you want to protect your sources. You want to protect the FBI agents who are doing the work. So I actually think the senators should hold back, let the Justice Department finish its job, and, and then follow traditional practice mm -hmm. and not ask to see these kinds of files. They've got a lot to do over there at the DOJ. A lot of requests, a lot of investigations, and we await the results of those as we await the Mueller report on Thursday. Uh, John and Harry, thank you both. Always appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.